Hard to believe the frequency of gusty winds across the valley as we closed out the fall season heading into the winter season. Gusts today in Fargo, 63 miles per hour. It's been windy. That's quieting down a little bit. Valley Skycam shows we still have a layer of low clouds and from time to time a flurry or freezing drizzle drop falls from these clouds. 23 right now out at Hector. It's 19 in Moorhead. Wind now 14 miles per hour, still out of that chilly north direction. From the Red River and points off to the west, we're seeing temperatures primarily in the 20s. A few teens in northeast North Dakota, 31 for Jamestown. And the coldest weather out to the far east where Bemidji has 14. It is 11 in Bedette and a pair of 19s in Lakes Country, Becker and Ottertail County. So cold enough for what fell to freeze on road surfaces, sidewalks, you name it. Be careful out there as you're walking or driving around. Now, uh, wind speeds uh, are tapering off a little bit between 10 and 15 miles per hour for many. Still a few gusts, though, through Wapiton Breckenridge, where we have a 25 mile per hour gust. Fergus Falls gusts over 20 as well. Here is a look at the storm system that brought the very early rain. That quickly moved out of here. We had some streamers of snow from time to time and freezing drizzle continues even into the evening hours. So clouds are trying to break apart with some drier air making their way in, but they're going to have a tough time out there. Here's a closer look at some areas where we're still seeing some freezing drizzle and showers of snow. Northeast parts of South Dakota actually in a winter weather advisory until the morning hours for wind and icy roads. Little band still focused between the Grand Forks and Fargo areas along the I-29 corridor. And as we take a look off to the far north, we have some more snow showers working their way into the Devil's Lake Basin uh, from Rolla down towards Madoc as we speak. All right, as we take a look at temperatures, it's chilly in north central portions of Minnesota. That's a cold spot. Temperatures warm and in the 50s where you see the greens there. And that temperature boundary is where we're see seeing the best chance for a few flurries of snow into the evening hours. So mostly cloudy skies, temperatures slowly falling into the teens from the Red River and east. We're holding on to the 20 so out to the west. As we go through the overnight, another unsettled weather disturbance works its way through the central and western Dakotas, bringing a chance of morning flakes from the Devil's Lake Basin south into the James River Valley. Can't rule out a flake of hours two of snow here, but the big thing is calm winds to start your Thursday. Going through the midday hours as we uh, head into the afternoon, we won't see a lot in the way of sun. Temperatures will be stuck in the teens and 20s across our region with wind that will return to a northwesterly direction and be between 5 and 15 miles per hour with a few gusts to 25, not 65 tomorrow. So quieter winds indeed. 16 to start the day. Uh, winds become a little breezy in the afternoon as temperatures slowly try to reach 30 degrees. They'll stop just shy. Upper 20s here. Chance at 30 in Oaks and Ellendale. 16 for Roseau and Bemidji. And I think temperatures in the afternoon near 15 degrees for Bedette. Great shot of a clouds and sun mixture here from Renee in Burner, Minnesota. Thanks for your chilly sunset photo. Here is a look at Friday's forecast. If you're heading out to the Bison game late in the evening and as we exit the game, there will be a few flakes of snow here and there. As so we go into Saturday morning, that continues primarily up north, though, with some accumulation likely. Then we close out the weekend on a quiet note. More unsettled weather, Andrea, Monday mm -hmm. and Tuesday of next week, but those temperatures remain above average. Yeah, look at that. I will. Thanks, Hush. Yep. <laughs>